we get this question a lot. Butterfly farming is a really fantastic, sustainable way to keep the rainforest intact. Basically, um, families, individuals, and communities that live in rainforest areas can choose to cut down the rainforest, they can farm over it, or they can butterfly farm, which means that they keep the rainforest intact and um, they collect pupa or chrysalids is what we call it and then they ship those chrysalids to butterfly pavilion so Ernesto tell me why we got started with well we started here because uh, with butterfly looking for a way to to make the farm sustainable When my father died, uh, he leave us this land. He taught us how to take care of it. But because I'm a dancer, I was kind of confused on how to keep the land yeah. with my dancer's salary. So I knew about this this thing, the butterfly farms, and I, I guess it's kind of related with dance. You see, they are moving the whole time. They have such a beautiful designs. The whole process, the metamorphosis, is such a symbolic thing that I decided to put it. And we have been here for 20 years already. Today I'm collecting all the eggs of the greenhouses because outside there are many, many predators like, like ants, uh, wasps, and I put all these eggs in containers. Safety for sure. That's my job. Ahora lo estamos mangando, porque no hay, no hay allá donde ponerlos ahorita, por ahorita. We are, right now we are not thinking in commercial way, we are thinking more in a, in a natural way. Mm -hmm. About this place, we used to have a slogan that says, the small is beautiful too. Mm. You see about this place mm -hmm. because we think people should get aware of small things and big things. When uh, when this project started was um, the idea was a uh, uh, hundred thousand hectares of reforestation. Um, it changed a little bit our goal. We want a hundred thousand hectares of forest. So our butterflies come to us from all over the world. Uh, we have butterfly farmers that send uh, the shipments to us from you know, Asia, South America, Africa. And to get them to us, you know, they raise them from the caterpillars and then they put them, or once they pupate, uh, they wrap them in a box, put them in a box, wrap them in cotton, and ship them to us in about two to three days. Uh, when they arrive here, we then unpack them, sort them into the different species. Uh, you gotta be really gentle because you know you can't kill them all in there in their chrysalis. Um, and then we glue them on the boards. Mm -hmm. Then uh, they hatch and we release them into our rainforest.